Hey Internet, uh, Sterney here. Uh, with me is Arcanum. Greetings. Anok. Hello. Oh. And Jakael. Hi. And as you can see, we have one wing that is currently down, and we have another that we need to set in order to across over the back of the great bird statue. And the way we're going to do that is by getting lodestones. So are, and are our barrels hollow rocks? Barrels are hollow rocks in this one, yes. Um, oh, like um, magma globs, I would say. Yeah. Well, I at mean, least it kind of makes sense. I mean, you're not going to have a wooden barrel in a volcano for a questionable amount of time and it still be perfectly fine. Much wielded, much less actually being used by people whose most likely their body is somewhat made of fire. Plus, barrel seller Brad kept infusing all of his barrels with oil. Problematic. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So, it it has been interesting how it's been a while since the rope. Also, you can't just force that one door open. You have to even do the brassiers here. It's, it's too it's silly. Solid. Fire power. Plus, it, it, goes, it goes down, not up. So... There is that. Well, obviously, you had to light the torches to burn the ropes that was supporting it. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's just a switch or something. Now, like here's a fun bit of combat. Um, I was curious to see what the AI would do for fights. Apparently, choke The answer is... Swords. There's a taunt move, you see, in all of your moves to sort of, like, get people to break their guard. And in this one, it's put your swords on your shoulders and wiggle. And evidently, the characters aren't as aggressive as I am in fighting, as Clearly. you can see there. No. So, let's just get rid of all these guys. I was hoping you'd keep that going. No, no. The problem is, in this particular room, there's a lot of, like, lumpy architecture, and all of the AI controlled enemies and hell even your buddies they get locked up on stuff it's just the worst all right then here's the question mm -hmm. despite the fact that they're not as aggressive as you are they more effective than you what in fighting yes Doesn't no they're all like idiots it. like no, can they're... they defeat the enemies while having more HP in them? Oh, I, you know what? I've never actually tried to fight a guy, like, all the way through. I've never actually tried to answer the question Just of, can this guy hold it down? see how long it takes for a fight to go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I could try that next time. Do you want to see that? Or at least you have me report speed back? You the footage, but... Yeah. Alright. Alright, fine. Alright, if you ask, I will try and do it. Fair enough. I'm at least curious. Fair enough. All right, so um, we did have a tarot talk to do. Yeah, I believe have... we got the Ace of Wands, and also right behind us is going to be a puzzle. So while we uh, check out this puzzle, why don't you tell me about what you got? All right, first off, we're in the wand suit. Wand represents element of fire, gives information relating to the traits of fire, primal energy, spirituality, inspiration, determination, strength, intuition, creativity, ambition, and expansion. <sighs> also, Scree is not fireproof. Original thought and the seeds through which life springs forth. He also Relates went green to simplicity and, and to nature, as well as poverty and submission. Fun times. The Ace of Wands, usual ace symbol of optimism and invention, being upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful about your future. Would you also say that they are warm-hearted? Maybe. Maybe. Yes, You've been dipping so into the minor. It says you're optimistic. Hard. It doesn't say you care about other people. Hmm. So they are the self-cheerleaders of the world. Or the yes. self-help guess... group. So they are the Gryffindors of the team. Okay. And they come Whatever. up with ideas. And art. They're the they're the bards. They're the theater majors. I love they're how the PRs the have those emblazons of this universe. Hence why all so of their wonderful. pillars are carved intricately. 
It's like, all right, so what do we want to have our inspiration guys do? Let's have them build a place that is just functioning on fire and porches. Fire, fire-themed, bullshit volcano levers. Imagine the engineering that went <laughs> into a two-state lever to open a fucking bridge. Yeah, it's creativity, all right. All right, we need it to rotate over and down. And on top of that, we still need the volcano to be functional. Yeah, and we need to not let it get melted by lava. It's insane. But of now, course, these are the people who apparently store fun part things real quick. inside Watch the rope. magma bubbles. When you summon, the rope just straight up disappears. I loved it. I barely see the rope. Yeah, like fair enough. Left. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. Yeah. It just straight up despawns. Now, just up here, just we're gonna me, do it. Just that little bit that you just crossed over in the center looked like a dinosaur. I don't know. Because it had the curvy tail bit, and then you sort of had the head bit. Oh! Hmm. It's like if you turn around and see the middle bit again, it looks like a dinosaur. Now, listen carefully for a moment. That. I love that crack noise that happens with this particular, like, sword. I think that's really fun and fascinating. Now, the dinosaur, I... Jeez, I need to go back and look at that, I guess. <laughs> Why do you think differently? Gah! Right, last time it was, there's a wolf head in the volcano. I went back, it's like, I don't see a fucking wolf. Where's this it wolf? It wasn't in the volcano. <laughs> we apologize for being individuals. God damn it. Okay. It's all the tarot research you had me do. It's making me see things and other things. Like dinosaurs and wolves. <laughs> Yes. I don't remember you talking about either dinosaurs or you know, wolves the, in tarot cards. the representations cards. of primal nature. <laughs> oh, sure. So I bet now what you're really just doing is like, oh yeah, I researched tarot cards. I've gone through five seasons of JoJo. <laughs> yep. I know what a stand looks like. You don't need to go through five seasons. You just need the one. Yeah, season three. Because beforehand it was just sun power. Yeah. Watchers, two of us do a lot of JoJo stuff. We like it, so... Read JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's great. Watch All the right. anime. It's also fun. Yeah, the anime is amazing. Or, if you're into Tumblr for some strange reason, Out of Context JoJo. That's all you need to know about the entire series. Yeah. Warning spoilers if you're actually interested in any of the other stuff. Now, a couple of things here. Out of here. Context spoilers, but still. I believe you see what's going on in the background, yes? The shield guy? And? In the darkness. There's somebody firing mortar at you, I think. There is <laughs> somebody in the back oh, yeah, who wants to be our special that. friend. He is carrying a bludgeon or a sword that is shaped like a torch. <laughs> yes! yes he is. His he has a torch sword. Has a weapon. torch emblem on it. <laughs> the ranged enemy in this game, or this world, is fire based. Oh, sure, there's fire arrows, but fuck that. Mortars! Magma mortars. <laughs> Mag mortars! Oh. It didn't seem to do a lot of damage to you. No, no. Wouldn't it just be more to, you know, fight the ranged guy alone? Just charge right on through? Yeah, I could, that, like, five but then you realize there's there, enemy like... damage here, and I wanted to do it. Now check this. I hit guard, right? I'm not sure if I took damage from the one below me or the one that the guy hit me with. But anyways, a few lava monsters dead later. We so meet our friend. Lava monsters get he hurt was firing by the it through the gate. Yeah. It's dangerous. Well, it's you can blow bad. that off. I love his hairstyle too. Check Nexus. that out. And is this guy immortal? No, it bugged out. It seems to do that, I guess. And more badass sound effects. That and we get to see a finisher with two-handers. Also, it's really evidently hard to see if he's down or something, or maybe it bugged out. I didn't really try oh, and figure out. Oh, yeah, he's down now. 
get some souls, swap over. Off in a corner, we've got an energy thing. And just off in another corner, in case you were thinking, oh, this is a dead end, why would we bother going here? There's another tarot card. A wooden card. chest. And it has something in it this time. No barrels, but we have wooden chests. So Lewis is the Hierophant. He is the Hierophant. What is the Hierophant? Also, uh, I forget that stand. The Hierophant is one of the face cards, obviously. Or one of the trump cards, anyway. Also called the High Priest, or Pope. He is the builder of the bridge between deity and humanity, representing the conformity to social standards, or a deference to the established social order. Oi. So basically, he's a communist pope. No, he's more... He's a... He sounds more like a maintainer. I yeah. Think. He's like, sort of stay like... on the path that everyone else is on. Like, oh. repair the bridge to prevent it from, like, breaking down or something, I guess. Now, here's a big fight. There's a lot of lava monsters, and lava monsters are boring. So we're gonna speed through this shit, okay? Just like that. Now, Hierophant, um, it actually makes me think that maybe uh, Lewis in a normal thing is sort of like the stabilizing character that pretty much would have just handled stuff just fine, if not for the influence of Abaddon and terrible mind control. Considering Whereas, all of Jen's aspects have been aces, which re represent like new beginnings and new invention and all that and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, Lewis sounds sort of like a backbone individual. I mean, your descriptions sound very much like he's on the side of order. Which, I suppose from this perspective, is what makes his corruption or his possession even more tragic, I guess? I am glad you are fighting for me. I finally remember who Lewis was. Good. As was this fool's intention. He's the one with a human name. Now, I know now. You don't have to tell me. The hybrid is now, fair enough. now. Oh, that sounds good. Are we gonna get possessed? Oh, no. I don't know why you would think that. This one still lives, Hyrule. Cast him into the pit. Hey, why did that we open that shot with a butt? Three said we weren't for sale. That doesn't mean you can just steal us. Look at me. What have you done to her? The gift I bestowed binds her to me. She no longer knows you. No! That was... Oh, you're you're more upset about the, the possessed, not the enemy. And he'll hear of your okay, fair dues. The way you tried to enlist us in some plot to overthrow him. The king? You fool! I am the king. Shut sure. off! Oh. What a twist. It's not like we didn't see this coming. Oh no, she's gonna... Is she gonna Sparta us? I don't know. Did you look at my title? This... No. Is... Vulcan look up! <sighs> that's gonna chip an ear. Oh, that's gonna chip more than an ear. It's gonna chip his heart. Because now it's broken, along with that torch, which has no flame. Actually, shouldn't he be in more rubble than he is now? At the very least, you'd think our wings would have broken off by now. I mean, they're the obvious weak points. Yeah. Fair point! But the only time we've actually taken any physical damage as Scree was when we had a cage dropped on us by accident. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it dropped cage. down a pit of questionable distance. Onto a very solid surface. That has to survive volcanic activity for a questionable yeah, well, amount of years. I think what we're learning here is the rib cage is mightier than gravity. Also, there's like four lodestones around here, and it's a really it big room. Scree's body is impervious to Your drama God, is damage, it a big room. or for now, <laughs> but it's not to impervious to pratfall damage. Yeah. Mm. Now, how are we going to get through this door? What does lodestones have to do with it? Why am I in the little circle thing? Well, the torches are already lit, so that's not it. Nope. 
<laughs> sure doesn't have anything to do with this bird. What? Yep. Well, at least he's I was expecting though. another outstretched wings thing. I wasn't expecting mouth lava. <laughs> <laughs> I love the moment yeah. your mind just breaks there. You're like, no, no, this this makes no sense. It's going to so sp spread he did the same spread. thing he did in the Waterland, where he opened the mouth of the fish. Yes. Only in this case, he opened the mouth of the bird. Which and as you can see here. Which all over his gargoyle body. Yes. Bathing him in a refreshing bath. Well, we have a... needed to knock all the dust off. Whoa, we... Okay, you're speeding up. I was <laughs> For like, yeah, boy, he really scurried. Really fast. Okay, so here's the deal. All of this scree stuff is about... I, with me actually trying to clock it and being efficient is probably about a good 20, 30-ish minutes just offhand. And there's like no real story or anything, and it's just bullshit puzzles. Okay. Do we need to puzzling. get an oil dispenser? Yep. We need to get to one side of this room to get a torch. Then we have to go to the other side, open a door with the torch, spin a wheel. That smell tedium. Yeah, it it gets a bit tedious. And one of the things that was actually bugging me. Um, just in general about games, not so much this, is I kind of get annoyed at, like, pseudo-bullshit tedious stuff. Like, um, a good example is Alice Madness Returns. Um, I played that a couple of years ago, actually. I don't know why. Where, alright, so there's the point with the walrus and the carpenter, and you're like, alright, I'm doing your bullshit quest, whatever. And then you get a little bit further, and it's like, hey! Remember all that stuff you were doing and you thought you were done with our area? Well, uh, psych. Fuck you. And I was like, oh, look, more magma no. tossers. Yeah, more, more magma. It's actually not a tosser. It's just ornaments. It's just kind of just dropping from the ceiling. Barfing them out. Yeah. Does that but, even damage you? Know, no. no. We don't have health of Scree. We don't, we, we don't have Scree health. I mean, Scree we get knocked back and feel bad for a second, but oh, yeah. Well, I guess it looked pretty. Oh yeah, it looks nice, but who knows, maybe Jen goes through the room or something, I, I don't know. We'll find out next time, I guess. But one of the things that just bugs me is just like, time wasty bullshit, it's kind of aggravating. I mean, do you guys go that way, or no? Depends how bad it is. How egregious the issue is. And how boring the scenery is. Hence why we have the term grind nowadays, because, I mean, say like Warframe, the goal is to grind, but if that's not really a rewarding thing that's not your bag and you're more for the rewards, then I can understand why you would want to skip that, hence trying to get their proprietary money thing and just buy all the crap and say, yeah, I'm done. But then we have here, it's like, go through a freaking room, zigzag across with wall crawl, sure. Sped up wall crawl screen looks like those little uh, time animations time where it's animation. just pictures after pictures. I'm at least very I'm not entirely certain what that is. Like the claymation stuff. Oh, okay. Where oh, they okay. don't where sometimes they don't necessarily pick their feet up. Oh, the stop motion stuff you're talking about. Yeah, stop motion. Okay. I was like, Time Magazine does animations? No. Nope. Yeah. That would be it had me weird. I need yes. to check that out. Yeah, it's like, I mean, last I knew, they were talking about the Oculus Rift. I mean, I suppose they could draw little pictures in the corners and have every magazine be a flip book. Oh, that would ooh. be amazing. That would be amazing. It, ooh, it could be like Nintendo Power, where, like, they had an entire year, but on the spine of the magazine, there was a little... Um, Thingy. It's like, oh, here's a picture of, jeez, what was the Pokemon Silver Legendary thing? So Lampias? where we just came from is the Lampias? oil bathroom. Yeah. We're now in the pipe room. There's a shit ton of pipes, but we're more interested in the wall. <laughs> I love doing that. That's probably the... The biggest unintentional just... gaffe. It's like, oh, <laughs> on one hand, we have to deal with puzzles, but on the other hand, wiggle screen. It's not really... So what did you just pick up there? It looked like a 
blue green crystal rather than any of the usual stuff. It it's looks like um, the crystal that automatically heals you when you run out of HP. Yes, restoration diamond. Which, as yeah. you see right there, we've got twelve of them. And there's a white speck in the distance there. I don't know what that could possibly be. It's another high energy crystal. It. No, it's it's. <laughs> it's like you're skating up them. It's so amazing. I like how it even leaves like fire trails. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. like fire trails because it's going so fast. Despite the fact we know it's dust. This is him at five times speed. What I'm noticing so is five um, times he's... his speed. This is 500 times the normal run. Yeah, all of these speed up things um, are pretty much. Here's a minute. Here's a minute. I was like, it's a minute of just going up a freaking wall. Because it's a big room with tall walls. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the uh, fastest climber. Imagine the conference. Uh, QA Observe is, uh, normal speed. coming back and they're getting through the game too quickly. How do we do it? Taller walls. Like, okay. Taller walls. And to be fair, it does suit the sort of grandiose architect. Yes, it's yeah. a big volcano, I can give it that. I, I still appreciate just... The latter two worlds nice have <laughs> details. Like, genuine details. There's just iconography everywhere. Mm. Like, we've got symbols and, I guess, text. I don't know if it's any real text or just, like, runic generic markings or what. But it's like, here's a bunch of cool stuff. Now, at the same time, we've got this... How do you walk around through this area? Just in general. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to. Well, they're apparently super magical beings. So maybe when they wake up, they can fly. Yeah. When they wake up normally. Maybe the birds fly. Just maybe. I would anyway, love to tarot. see... You know what? With those talons that I saw, I would love to see them handle, like, a knife and fork. <laughs> I'm not sure they eat. All right, new question. Do demons eat food? Well, obviously the wraiths do. Okay, there was the wraiths. Um, the uh, ferai had a kitchen, so yes. Oh, check this, I love this. Oh, how cute. The room aside from you doesn't light up until you interact with the gate. And then he just fucking wrecks it. Mm. Boosh! <laughs> Giant audible clank. It's like, I don't need Jen. I'm just making her feel strong or something. Scree is mighty. Scree is mighty. Mighty indeed. And here we are in Malakel's temple. Nice place. Who's Very Malakel? Malakel is a person who owns a temple. As far as I know. I guess so. I, mean, I want a temple. The king has his own throne room. I want a temple. Mm hmm. Ooh, cutscene fire. I do like fire. the fire trail thing. I see the fury has been here. Hi, tits. Oh, Ma'am, with your. Innocent, the brave, and the I didn't know Jennifer you Lopez was in this game. Queen Malakel from her rest. Which have I here? Who are you? Your part. So to answer your previous question, Malakel would be the uh, queen of the realm. I seek your majesty's guidance in a very delicate matter. I must firstly plead for your intervention. King Iblis has subjugated a companion of mine, a hybrid much prized by my master. A transgression what do you think the gin are made of? Sugar, spice, and everything nice, of course. Like, they clearly went to a great deal of effort to craft her boobs, but do her boobs move? That's a good or question. Or is she like a statue? You are lying. Do you think that because, like, fire and volcano, they could be, like, iron rot, or, like, is it copper? Or bronze? Yeah. I mean, they're basically the same color as their weapons. Or do you Leaving think they're, hmm, maybe it is normal flesh, but they just have profit. copious amounts of oil. Well, it is also well, her hair looks pretty rocky, unless that's a headdress. I'm gonna go with headrest, or headdress. Considering what Jen looked like as the Advice. aspect, yeah. Yeah. While in Volca, 
You should aspire to emulate I'm going to throw out a guess that maybe they're just... Gen oh, we didn't decision. have a tarot talk. I forgot about Why that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll handle it next time. Is she teaching you us how to no be a better gym diplomat? We maybe. We have host to Abaddon's henchmen and thugs countless times. You are not... You are far too polite. He's uh, trying a new type of uh, henchman these days. I have the gift of. I love how all of my rants in the first section of this entire LP and like solemn or whatnot is like, Scree is this cloak and dagger asshole. It's like, people are calling him out on his bullshit in the second half. I'm loving it. You are stubborn at least, courageous even. And there is something deeper within you that I confess I cannot read. But I shall in time. As for the Wait, is she a fortune teller? You serve she others. may be a fortune teller slash psychic. Original Maybe character. She seems to be the most fortune tellery person in this Why game so far. Angry. Maybe she's the one who placed all the tarot everywhere. What is it you want? It's like, well, I've got a lot of time on my hands. There's no one in my room. I'll just draw these little things husband. and then hand them out to my buddies. That is what you want now. That would probably answer how Why Iblis happens to, to know that. Oh yeah, I I know that. I have come from the Nexus, This is a hybrid. I have the wanted poster. In card form. Kronos has been murdered. Oh man, she's even carrying a wand. Is dead. It's, hard cut out. The it's a torch hybrid, wand. The orders of it's Abaddon. a torch wand, but it's still the definitely Nexus not has a fallen sword. To chaos already. It is only a matter of time before all the realms Or a cup or a Volta pentacle. Yep. For years I warned Iblis that Abaddon could not be trusted. But he has always been blinded by the Dark One's gift of immortality. And a pledge but of infinity no, on the spell. no, I want to be immortal. No, I want the lava powers. He may have been warned of your coming by Abaddon. Intercepted this hybrid for fear of her threat to him. Iblis I would love to see Abaddon to just manifest as a big globby lava face. You must. Well, then you'd have to render. Allow me well, I mean, I'm just thinking, yeah, that would probably mess up all of Where's their really cool Volca mechanics and whatnot. With the king, I like, oh god, the lava's on top of it now. Melded her will to his own. Hold out your hand. Unlike the essence from Iblis, mine will not consume her mind. If you elect not to trust me, that is your choice. Wait, does this mean she's getting double the Volca power? Maybe. Yeah, I think she's just getting a replacement Volca power. It's like getting rid of a OS system that has a virus. With her, so they're purging. We're, we're doing a whole clean reboot. If you fail, we're going to go through a system well cleanse the there. We're going to give you some pills. You're going to not be happy for a day or two. And then we're going to put Libyan this soul in you. No more. Everything will be fine. Just, just stay out of the lava for a bit. You're, you're gonna want to. So this is sort of like, sort of the opposite of the first area where the queen was the evil one, and the king sort of forced his power on us. Yep. And it all kind of worked out. In this case, the king has provided his power, but it has been a bad power. And now the queen is a friend, ish. Yes, and unfortunately, most of that got cut out. <laughs> I was wondering if you nice try, though. Recorded, didn't you? <laughs>